So if you take a look at this image here, you can clearly see this guy holding on to this long stick here with a little connector on the end of it. And there's a reason you have that. When you play with high voltage, these are called chicken sticks. You want to get as far away from the electrical arc as possible. And you want to have a material that's non-conductive so electricity doesn't come down the stick and electrocute you. So it's very important when you're playing with high voltage. And high voltage is anything over like 24 volts and up. I mean, that's with DC power. With AC power, it's a little different. They both vary in different forms. So I'm going to show you right here what I have. Here's some of my tools, some of my equipment. Here's one of my chicken sticks, this big long stick. And you'll see why I have this huge long stick like this, especially when you're playing with high voltage. You'll see goggles, things like that to protect your eyes. I mean, you'll see some of this stuff in these images. You can clearly find it if you look for it. People playing with electrodes, high voltage snakes, you're going to see a lot of that. I mean, this is ancient high technology, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's out there for anyone to see. And don't, don't mistake a cold fusion reactor for a battery. I know they look very similar. This is going to how you're going to power all your StarCraft and the big stuff. This is where you get all the electricity from to run the fuel cells. People always ask me, where are you going to get all this electricity in space? Well, that's a whole other device. You need a cold fusion reactor. This is how it works right here. I'm going to show you some of my tools and equipment. Okay, the cold fusion reactor has many different applications. Okay, it's capable of providing and releasing limitless amounts of pure clean energy. It's simple yet advanced technology. You don't need much to get this done. This was like stand spark plugs. See, everything fits right in my hand here. The entire unit fits in my hand. That's what Stan was trying to show you. That was his spark plug for the car. It was basically a miniature cold fusion reactor. It's nothing more than a, an AC plug going to a bridge rectifier with some electrodes hanging off the end of it. See, I have another one right here that I'm going to use to show you the experiment. And here's one in my hand. You can build as many of them as you want. They're very simple. It's a very simple device. Here's the electrolyte that I'm using. You know, the reactor's core heat temperature can reach 5,100 degrees upon startup while it's cold and it can exceed that and if you take these things to the actual point of fusion you can fuse hydrogen atoms to form helium so they have many different applications and you can run this at many different levels that's why they call it a low energy nuclear reaction because it works at room temperature it's very unique technically this thing doesn't is, doesn't exist in mainstream science and it doesn't work but I'm going to show you different so this reactor works by burning the ionized gases immediately. It releases enormous amounts of thermal energy. Steam is created in the process along with hydrogen and oxygen atoms. They can be collected and all this is going on simultaneously. That's what's so crazy. All this stuff that you see here will be happening at one time. Remember, this is just an apparatus to test. This is a prototype setup. So we're going to get in here and I'm going to run some of this stuff and show you how it works. So what's cool is this is the apparatus that is going to produce all the aliens, hot water, electricity, their power. This is their main power source. Now you have the, the water fuel cells make the gas and you ionize the water making the gas atoms, hydrogen and oxygen to make HHO. 
You do that all with your water fuel cell and electrolysis. But this is a little different. This is plasma technology. You're going to run your Stirling engine, your steam engines. This makes pressurized steam. And you're still making HHO gas in the process. This powers all your water fuel cell reactors. This is what's going to get you across the galaxy and back home without consuming any electrical power. That's the secret to this gadget. electronically. The unit that you see right here, we call this a gas processor, and basically what we're doing is we're ionizing the ambient air gases that is now going into the process, and this allows us to trigger and use the hydrogen fracturing technology and tapping into a higher energy yield coming from the hydrogen. The unit you see right here, this is referred to as a resonant cavity. Uh, water is now fed into the resonant cavity through this water tank, and as such, we now expose the water to a very high intense pulse voltage field and restrict the amps and therefore the electrical polarization process now allows us to release the hydrogen economically from water. And by attenuating the uh, voltage field, uh, the amplitude of the voltage field, we now can control the rate of the production of the hydrogen gas in demand. So this is what's called, referred to as a constant demand generator. We also now extend or allow the voltage amplitude to increase even to a higher level and allow the, uh, the water uh, atoms to go into a, an ionization state, which gives us the ability even to produce a higher energy yield uh, by producing more hydrogen gas uh, on demand. So the fuel now coming from the water uh, through the electrical polarization process going into resonance, the resonance meaning that we're actually tuning into the dielectric properties of water.
So who are the real stars in this alien freak show porno we're all stuck in here on Earth? Okay? You know, I think it's the public, you know? They've been fed lies by the media. The aliens, they have used their electromagnetic shield, these screens, to brainwash 90% of the population. If anybody's being anally probed, it's definitely the public. They're getting screwed over big time. Just want you to think about that. You know, it's really crazy. They've brainwashed 90% of the population. 90% have been brainwashed. You know, the decades of brainwashing by these aliens, decades, disinformation, and just flat out lies have left people unreachable. No, they're completely unreachable. It's too late for some of these people. You know, they're unable to come out of their sleep. They can't be awakened, you know. Most of them are stuck looking at their phone. And you can't see, you know, they can't see the alien invasion going on around them. And they won't even look at nature. They won't look up. They, they won't even look at the sky for a short while. It's crazy. People, some people are completely distracted. Not Stan. Stan was a lot smarter than that. He saw through the illusion. Yeah, where most men would have gave up, Stan stuck in there. Stan, Stan didn't give in to the aliens. They tried to buy him out with the women and the money, and he didn't fall for it. No, Stan stuck in there. Most people would have sold out, but not Stan. So actually, some of the most advanced alien technology and equipment is normally labeled with these strange symbols. Most of them relate to high voltage and DC electrical current. You know, this is what powers their advanced technology, these symbols. They left these labels on just about everything they had. And you could see how you could take a battery and easy make a higher voltage using sine wave inverter and then just rectifying it back to DC. So you could do that in a car very easily and get the cold fusion reactor to run. You could combust the gas right in the engine if you had Stanley Myers water fuel cell injector. You know, I don't have that laying on the table here, but you can clearly see these symbols. Once you start looking at electrical symbols, you can clearly see this stuff. I mean, if you play with it every day, when you go through here and look at connectors, you know, switches, especially switches, you'll see these connections. It's really simple stuff, some of it. Remember, unlike charges attract, like charges repel. Advanced yet simple technology. You gotta remember, these guys labeled everything. They labeled their advanced weapon systems, engines for space travel, everything, right out in the open. Advanced water filtration, rapid growth for food and using HHO technology for medical systems, advanced power systems, everything was powered by water, highly advanced electrical circuits. You know, they had the atomic gas splitting and storing a technology that you couldn't imagine. They had CFR, WFC, bo both these things mastered. The tech is everywhere. It's basically all of its oxyhydrogen fuel technology. It makes everything humans have that we use as a power source today, it's simply obsolete. It doesn't hold a candle to what the aliens have. 